Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I'm back and I got my chicken and french fries. It looks good, don't it? I don't know how much storage I got, so I'm gonna talk fast. I'm gonna get right into it. I got this chicken courtesy of Wings and Teens. That's W-I-N-G-Z-T-I-N-G-Z. -I -I -Z. Sweet chili chicken. Let me just show y'all. Move out the way, green tea. Look at that. I asked for a 12 piece. That looks like more than a 12 piece to me. I think because they know my ex-boyfriend. They even named the chicken wing flavor after him. And I didn't get that flavor. Because <laughs> obviously his name ain't Sweet Chili. I hope not. But anyways, y'all. <laughs> I asked him to make it well done. Look at that. That's how I like my chicken. So anyways, let's get into some, 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 some gossip. Y'all know I don't really gossip too much. I be coming on here talking to y'all about my life. I'm moving. So behind me, I got a bag full of like party stuff. I'm trying to be as organized as possible when I move because I don't have a basement in my home I'm moving into. So I have to do uh, minimal. I have to live very minimally. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, so, mmm, mmm. I don't even try to eat this with y'all. I'm not gonna have to come back. Mmm. Mmm-mm. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm. I'm gonna have to come back. I got some fries. Mmm. They bomb. They got some seasoning on it, not too much. I know my last video I did, I was supposed to do a part two because I was talking about how people don't know how to navigate within the world. I did do another follow-up video, but I think it was like three minutes and it cut off. I was very busy that day, but the book I, I got, it's basically talking about where my mindset is right now anyways. I'll probably post that video later, but let's talk about some other stuff. Y'all see all the shit that's going on with puppy in the world? Listen, this is what I gotta say about that. The black community specifically has a problem with homosexuality. Not everybody in the black community, obviously, but there are people, I don't know why it is when it comes to black people, any, we always, I don't think there's any other culture that really, I mean, I, I can't say there's indigenous, that's, that would be false. But let's talk about my community because that's the one I know about because I'm black. Let's say, allegedly, not even allegedly, let's say entertainers, rappers, whoever, not even Puff Daddy specifically, let's say they are dead. Let's say they are bisexual. Okay, that's their business. The problem I have I don't have a problem with that. The problem I have is if they're doing things illegally with minors and things of that nature. That's something different. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that we should be blowing up the fact that, okay, now, the only thing I would say about that, if you're going to be in a closet, that's still your business. But when you're an entertainer and you're doing things, it's going to be, you know, a little bit more juicier if the public finds out that you have a secret sexuality because that's just what it is. That's the public likes gossip. We like to we like to know things. Some people like to know things. So, you know what I'm saying? And then, then the other the other part of that is if you're going to be do what you do in the in your in your private, that's your business, but I guess I I would say for me, why are you out here portraying like you're you strictly like women if you don't now again that goes to the part where it's like none of your business so i can't really say i'm i'm i'm, I'm 50 50 with that okay who you are y'all want to be having orgies and that's y'all's business it's really that's we we really shouldn't be who cares you know that's your business as long as you're being safe about it you're not out here fucking kidnapping and drugging people and doing that's some that's some, that's some other shit. You need to go down for that. But the sexuality part, I could care less. I do. I don't like the fact that if you're out here acting like you're you're um, heterosexual and you're really not, 
those are the DL men, but we already know that they exist. So I don't know why we're shocked about any of this stuff. Sexuality, and especially people hiding it, has been going on for I can't even, I don't know how long. Y'all know that? This goes back to a long, long time ago. The rappers didn't start this shit. Another thing I have to say is that I feel like the hip-hop industry, is. I feel like in terms of rappers, their whole lifestyle, I'm not going to say all rappers, the ones who own your shit and have control of your shit, you're good money. The other ones, you're. it's like modern-day slavery for me. Because we all know you're answering to probably some white guy, some some or some Jewish guy, somebody who's running the show. So you're basically just like NBA stars, just like uh, all the popular black uh, sports entertainers, uh, musicians, the ones, unless I... Like I said, unless you're really out here doing your own thing, you're answering to some big wig. He's probably white. And that's the deep side of it. Nobody's talking about, um, I mean, you do hear them talk about some of these people, but you don't. we don't really know who they are. Who are these gatekeepers that have black men uh, proposing that they have to do homosexual acts? Who are these people? Like, that's the, we want to know who are the gatekeepers. We want to know. We've heard enough stories about how you, uh, they might propose uh, sexual acts to see if you'll do it, you know, with another man or, or however they want to set it up and fix you to see, okay, okay, you might have white men or, again, doesn't matter the color, positions of power or not. But in this case, it seems like it's it, it, y'all 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 can't y'all selling y'all y'all selling yourself out like that. Don't y'all don't don't y'all feel like idiots? Again, the sexuality part is one thing. You can be broke and be down low, but I would I feel some type of way about it's it. I feel like black men have to go through all these things just to be able to to do something that they love to do. Why do you have to bend over? Why do you have to? suck somebody's dick why do you gotta allow somebody to do that to you or do that why what uh what is all of this sexual shit that's infused into why that is some fucking modern day slavery shit and i ain't feeling that's what we should be really looking at that's what the community we should be all talking about because if y'all don't do these things how are they gonna make their money they're making their money off of the backs of y'all and on top of that they got all this secret shit. I mean, again, your preference is your preference. But if you have to go through these things in order to level up and to make it in the industry, come on now. Have you no soul? Unless that's just what you like to do. People have to understand that. They might want to do this. You know, again, it's stigmatized. Like, it's like black people have a thing about homosexuality. Black men being openly gay. So let's say you are you you have a dream. You want to be a rapper or who, entertain a football player. Whatever you want to be. You want to be in the movies. Whatever. Okay? And since we all, since we hear all this talk about how you got to do this and that to get into the industry, let's say um, on top of that, they secretly have a fetish. Or they secretly uh, desire to be with uh, people of different sex, sexual orientation. Then that's like, that's, and okay, so we all know when you're in industry, you get money, you get access to uh, all these people, people want to be around you, you get women, you get men easily because people gravitate towards your power and your money that you might have and your celebrity, your fame. Okay, so then that's, okay, so now you got your money, you're in a position where you can get these people, you're in a position where you can do, you can actually probably be able to secretly indulge in these secret th come on now y'all know what's going on y'all acting like man because i already know i done watched a couple of uh, uh some porn here and there and i'll be like damn girl you ain't had no business watching that shit why are you watching that shit girl out of curiosity i want to see yeah i said it that's what be going on it's too many factors People get into this industry, it's, it takes a toll on them mentally in different ways. All kinds of shit. Guys, like these people that get famous don't have to go through a bunch of shit. It has its ups and then it has its downsides to, to fame and having money. That shit ain't all literally in gold. Glittery in gold. Anyways. 
I know I was kind of all over the place. This chicken is hitting. It got like a, um, it got like a, um, sweet chili sauce. And the sweet chili sauce is actually inside. It's like, ooh, it's so bomb. But anyways, y'all know what I'm talking, y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I think we, I think, this chicken's a little cold now because I already took a shower, so it's cold, but. Y'all just. Look, in terms of Diddy, he ain't the only one that been out here doing dirty shit. Y'all know that. And if y'all gonna take him down, y'all gotta take down the people who who was around him watching that shit, helping him do that shit. He didn't do that shit by himself. He had helpers. And it's not just him. And it was him. Allegedly. I'll be... When I'm up late at night, I like to educate myself, right? And I've been, I've learned so much. Like, there's so much stuff out here that you don't know because it's just so much stuff. Historically, the way people are 